Hello, beautiful people. How are you? Welcome back or welcome if you're new. Make sure you hit the like button and my dogs are growling at each other. It's going to be a fight. Why are you growling at him? He's not hurting you. Go lay down. Sir Walter is being an annoying little brother and driving his sister and his other brother crazy. So gotta love puppies. And I've been chilling, watching the ocean with you. Anyway, as I was saying, make sure you hit the like button if you like it while you're watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you as part of our little family here. I want to go ahead and say happy Pride Month. And today we're going to be getting into Boxy Drop Shop. So a couple times a year, Boxy Charm lets you shop their pop-up, their drop shop, without being a member. And I did cancel my subscription a while back, so, but I did see that they were having their sale. So I took advantage and I bought some stuff. This was the look that I came up with today using some of the stuff I got. So I picked up some skincare, some makeup, and I did test out the skincare and I did put the makeup on. So yeah, stick around if you're interested in seeing what I picked up and let me know if any of these are your faves. All right, let's get into it. Hi. I really hope the lighting is better in this video. I noticed in the last one it was a little too warm, so hopefully this is better. It's so top filming in a small space. Yeah, I'm doing my best, Tom. So I've already got brows on as usual and my eye base on. First thing I got is the Rowan Rowan Wow Brow. And I got this shade Medium Brown. And there's nothing really there's nothing really incredibly unique about this pencil. Standard, standard spoolie, standard size N. But I do like formula. It's a stiffer formula, which I like. It is also perfect. Perfect shade match for me. It's it's a cool brown. It's not too warm. And yeah, I sketched out my brows with it today and I'm super happy with them. They're not twins today, but when are they ever? So this was definitely a win. So the next three things I got are skincare. Oh, and I meant to say this retails for 26 and I got it for six bucks. So next I picked up some skincare and the first thing I got was the Glow Recipe Papaya Sorbet Enzyme Cleansing Balm. The cleansing balm. I don't know why it's in such a big box, but it says, Hey Glow Gang, melt makeup and smooth skin with refreshing papaya sorbet. Now, I do not normally spend a lot on cleansing balms because... One of my favorites is the Shop Miss A uh, Makeup Cleansing Balm and the e.l.f. Hydrating Cleansing Balm. Those are amazing. They're both like eight bucks, 10 bucks, and they're awesome. A little bit goes a long way. No fragrance in those. They're, they're great. But this, I mean, compared, you think you're gonna be getting something huge, but it's actually just a normal size. You do get 3.38 ounces, and I have tried this. Here's what it looks like. As you can see, I've used it twice now. So it is a little bit of a stiffer formula also. I do love the packaging, glass jar, and it does come with a little scoop. So. And it melts right in. So the call outs for this is that it has the, it has papaya enzymes which are exfoliating, but it also has papaya seed oil, blueberry enzymes. It has no synthetic fragrance, but fragrance is fragrance. So I did enjoy it. It did not burn my eyes. It removed makeup really well. Um, the scent is very light. It's not overpowering and I didn't feel like it left much of a residue at all. So overall, I did enjoy it. However, this retails for $32 and I picked it up for $15 because that is about what I'm willing to pay. So if you can get it at that price, it's worth it. However, I do not think at full price it's worth it. Just unless you like the experience and you want to be a little bit bougie, then go for it because it is a good uh, cleansing balm. It's just 
to me, there are others that work just as well that are a lot cheaper. Another glow recipe item is actually one I really, really, really like. And that is the Glow Recipe Avocado Melt Retinol Sleeping Mask. And this is definitely a favorite of mine. I used an entire one up already. This one retails for 42 which is still high considering the amount you get is not a ton. It's 2.3 ounces, 70 mils. So you don't get a lot of product. However, you don't need a lot of product with this. And it says you can use it as a restoring sleep mask or a wash off mask. I would not wash this off. When I use this, I use this, I use this as my moisturizing step at night. So that's what it looks like on the inside. It's an interesting consistency so it is pretty uh i mean just that little bit and i could spread it all up my arm it's very very moisturizing i don't find it to be sticky like some sleep mask gets sticky and stick to your pillow and it's not a good time this one this one doesn't it it soaks in and it's lovely to sleep in so this has glycerin avocado seed, oil or extract, hyaluronic acid, sodium hyalur hyaluronate. I hate that word. Sodium hyaluronate. So two forms of HA. It also has squalane. It has camellia. It has saccharides, which are really moisturizing like sugars. It has aloe. It has retinol. It's just got a lot of good stuff. This it's not going to irritate your skin. In my opinion, the retinol that's in it is very tolerable. Uh, don't use it if you're pregnant, but highly recommend this. This is a really good one and I got it for 15. So at 42, I might think twice, but at 15, I had to get it and I should probably have gotten two just to have one as a backup because I really love this. And the last skincare item I picked up was the Sunday Riley Good Jeans. Now, Peach and Lily has a dupe for this that is almost as good and it is half the price of this. This retails for $85 and I would never pay that. However, when I can get this discounted, I will get it. It makes a huge, huge difference, a noticeable difference. A lot of things you have to use over and over. This one, you can feel the difference after one use. You just can. You wake up in the morning and it's just your skin's so smooth. Again, this is the Good Jeans All-in-One Lactic Acid Treatment. Not only is it exfoliating as far as the lactic acid, but it has licorice. So it's going to brighten, um, get rid of that hyperpigmentation, lighten age spots, freckles, sun damage, and you can really tell after, especially after using it a while. So I use this before the moisturizer, and I'm telling you, it's it's amazing. It does have a bit of a fragrance, but it doesn't bother me. It's very light. It says for sensitive skin, you can use it as a treatment. So you would put it on uh, 15 minutes and then rinse it off, but I'm not in that camp. I put it on at night and I love it. You can use it during the day too, but you really can't go wrong with this. This was, again, this retails for $85 and I got it for $24, which is an awesome deal. Put a little bit there. It's just like a very, very light, um, ceramic type lotion. It's very thin. I would say, I hate to say that, anything is worth something because it's all individual. What's worth it to me may not be worth it to you. It hurts my heart too much to buy this at full price. So if I had the disposable income, yes, I would spend 85 on this. Right now I don't. So at 24, it is an amazing deal. I do highly recommend this. Uh, it's, it's a product that you actually see results. So love it, happy to have it again. <laughs> Okay, so on to the makeup. So the first makeup item I picked up was the LYS Secure Skin Gripping Primer. I didn't know LYS had primers. I love their packaging. It's so cute. So this is supposed to be skincare 
as well. It has niacinamide, ginger root, again brightening. It has some AHAs in it. Now I don't know at what concentration these are, but actually it tells you it is a 5% niacinamide. So that's actually a perfect amount of niacinamide for every day. So it says to apply an even layer following your moisturizer. So let's see. So it does have a woo, serum -y texture. And let's see, that may have been too much. I'm not gonna put all that on. I did already use my niacinamide uh, dew drops. So doubling up on the niacinamide. Fortunately, I am not sensitive to it. And this and the other stuff I have not used yet, so. Okay, it's, it's a little bit tacky. Not anything along the lines of like the Elf Power Grip or Milk. It's not that sticky, but it does have a tack. Okay, so we will see how this wears. This is one, you know, with primers, you're gonna have to, uh, you're gonna have to use it and see how it works out. But again, with the adorable packaging, very lightweight, very serum-y. We'll keep using that and that retails for that retails for 20 and I was able to get it for nine dollars so it does say to allow 60 seconds before you go in with foundation but we're doing eyes first so we don't have to worry about that I had my little sweater on but it's getting hot underneath these lights so I'm so excited for this and thank you to Emily Hanhan who was like hey guys uh Boxy Drop Shop has the Rowan palette. I swooped in and I picked up the Rowan 1111 palette. This is my first foray into Rowan eyeshadows and I've heard amazing things about them. Lauren May Beauty talks about them and I'm really excited to try this today. From what I hear, it's very unique formulas. So this retails for $46, uh, this little quad. It is luxury and I picked it up for 16. This bougie little velvet pouch, already with the fingerprints. Here we go. Nice mirror, nice packaging. And these are the shades. And I'm so excited to dip into this. Now it does come with a little insert that says with our lid looms, being a first of its kind formula, here's a few tips to get you started. The texture and finish varies per shade because of the differing amounts of pearl reflex used in each shade. Upon first use, swirl your finger in a circular motion on each eyeshadow shade. Don't be afraid to use firm pressure. This will activate our lid looms for optimal color payoff. For more pigment, apply directly with your fingertip. For a diffuse wash of color, use our Everything Eye Brush. I don't have that. And be sure to use firm pressure. Push, swipe, swirl, layer, and have fun. Mix and match colors and let your creativity and or simplicity shine. Cute. Okay, let's see. When you first touch them, they feel very stiff and dry. Swirling. Okay, then it gets creamy. Interesting. Oh, that's gorgeous. Stunning. Wow, that is such an interesting texture. And I'm gonna turn the light down a little more. So this is the shade situation. That is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna love this. I can already tell. Next to that is the shade hashtag. Okay, this one doesn't feel as dry. Wow, they're very, very creamy once you get into them. I'm interested to see if these crease on me. It's very, that's hashtag. Again, very creamy. Oh my word. So pretty. Next shade is Chow. Swirling to activate. Oh, it's so odd. So we have Chow. Oh my gosh. That's just gorgeous. And then lastly, we have Rosy. It says use firm pressure, so I'm digging in there. Rosy. And there we go. So that's the 1111 palette from Rowan. And we are gonna 
put this on our eyes. So I'm gonna zoom you in and let's play. So I think I'm gonna go in with the shade Chow, which is the darker of the pinks, into my crease. And I'm using a Cleona DF02. And this is a synthetic brush and I thought this might work better since it is more cream-like. This is definitely going to be a softer look. So I think what I'm actually going to do is take my stained refer brush, the refer 12. See if that'll pick up a little more. Oh yeah. Okay. So maybe went in a little too hard. These definitely have a learning curve to them. That is so pretty though. Just blending those edges. It's lovely. Let's turn down the light a little more. Better. Okay, build it up just a little bit. These would be, if you're a one and done type person, these would be incredible. They have the prettiest little like micro glitters in them. They are the strangest texture. They very much act like a cream, but they blend, blend like a powder. It's very odd. I bet that would make a really pretty like blush top or two. Okay, so, so I'm taking a Coastal Scents R.I.P. Uh, BRC951 and it's just a of a natural hair packing brush. And I think I'm gonna go in with this one here, which is hashtag, is it hashtag? Hashtag, yes. And deepen up the outer corner a little bit. This is such a beautiful, like cool tone shade. This one has like this, like, I'll see if I can show you but this like micro fine glitter that is almost like periwinkle color. It's so unique. And I know an all shimmer look is not for everyone, but I love an all shimmer look sometimes. Okay. I'm starting to learn. While they are different and odd, I actually think if you are someone who is not very experienced and not very skilled with the brushes, I actually think you could apply this whole look with just fingers. That is interesting. Okay, I think I want to take shade Rosy and put it right here on the middle of my lid and then do situation on the inner. I just want this to kind of be messy. I feel like these lend themselves to that. This one's a little more peachy. Yeah, I really like these with the fingers. Okay, and then to brighten it up, let's go in with Situation. And I feel like this one is a much different formula. It's chunkier. Oh, wow. That is gorgeous. Holy moly. Alrighty then. I think a big old wing with this will be pretty. I get what they mean by activating. I feel like when you press it, it like crushes the pigments in a good way. It's so super sparkly. It's so unique. And again, I know this is not everyone's deal, but all right. I'm gonna put some other makeup on and I'll be right back to finish the eyes. Okay, so I'm gonna take the She Glam uh, Multi-Chrome uh, Liner in Vertigo and put that in my water. These are so good, by the way. Hashtag, making sure that meets up with the top. My dad is in there doing dishes, so I'm sorry if you can hear that. And then I'm gonna take Situation on the inner corner. Okay, I'm gonna do a little wing liner and some lashes, I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. So I took a little of the Danessa Myricks uh, Color Fix and Lined and kind of blended that in with that deeper shade. And I really love how it turned out. So pretty. Okay, I am living for this eye look. I love it so much. Okay, so love it so much. There is a learning curve with this, but I mean, 
stunning. I get the hype. So excited to use this in the future. I'm gonna add just a little more bronzer. So the next thing I saw was this Dominique Cosmetics. It's a cream blush and I got the shade Warm Peach. Now, I have not tried any of uh, Dominique Cosmetics complexion stuff. I do love the lip, Bowie. I do love the lip products. So this apparently has hyaluronic acid and I did see that it's got coconut alkalines in it. So I'm hoping it doesn't break me out. Super cute packaging. I love this orangey shade. I don't know how well it's gonna go with this eye look, but we're gonna try it out. Using another Bogo shade, this is natural hair and let's try it out. I have already powdered and it's not disrupting my base. That is a beautiful color. What do we think? I love it. Cute, cute, cute. Not sticky. Hopefully it sets down. I can a little powder on top just to make sure. So this retails for 22 and I got it for 10. I mean, most of this stuff is drugstore price so score i'm gonna add just a little bit of this milani as a highlight give everything a set i love this eye look it's so smoky okay i'm going to wipe off my lip balm this is not a cold sore i think it's a pimple gotta love it Fortunately, my face seems to be doing a little bit better. I started new medication and I'm pretty positive that's what's done it, but we carry on. So the last thing I picked up was this Ciate Wonder Wand lipstick. I got the shade Wonderlust and I like Ciate fine, but I've never really delved too much into them. I do have a friend on Discord who is like, keeping them in business and um she raves about a lot of their stuff so i'm interested to give it a try so this is the component it actually feels very very heavy and nice nice quality uh, it's got a little it's got a little bow on top so let me swatch it for you beautiful shade it's a nude we know i like the nudes let's see what this is supposed to be it's supposed to be a demi shine lipstick so not a matte but not full shine so let me grab a lip liner so actually i think this one i used in the last video sephora vintage pink may be a decent color let's give this a shot very close to the same color love this color so pretty very smooth very opaque really comfortable and it matches my blush so well okay i'm excited to keep using this i love how it apply i love lipsticks in like a wand form or a lip pen i just i have small lips so i like it better than just a bullet all right, y'all, that's gonna be it for this video. I just wanted to share what I picked up at the Boxy Drop. And I think make sure you look out for it because you don't have to be a member of Boxy Charm to be able to shop. I think they do it twice a year where you anybody can shop. And right now I am not a Boxy member. I canceled my box. But I will say it is one of the main reasons I used to subscribe was because you can get so much good stuff at such a good price and save yourself a lot of money. So yeah, I hope this was interesting. I hope this uh, kind of gave you an idea of what kind of what they have to offer. That way next time you can decide. This isn't sponsored in any way. I just really love shopping the drop shop or the a pop-up when they do it. All right, let me know what you guys would like to see next. I would be happy to oblige. Make sure you hit the like button before you go and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Thank you again for watching. I love you all so much. Make sure you leave me a comment. Uh, let me know if 
you still have Voxy, let me know if anything looked good to you. If you're a fan of any of these products, let me know. Let's have a chat. I always love talking to you guys so much. All right. I love you. Take care of yourself and each other, and I will see you next time. Bye.